as you could see a lot of files are clean from here and if i go to data i can see all the csv files here if i go to media i can see all the media files here if i I end of AI tools that tells you what you have to do instead of doing all by itself. Imagine an AI agent that sits right on your desktop and does everything for you. Organizing files, scheduling meetings, creating emails, and all of that. That's exactly what today's tool is built for. Welcome to day 226 of the 1000 days of NuCode challenge. Meet Fairy's AI by Fundamental Labs, a generic purpose AI agent that runs directly from your system. It can perform tasks like organizing files and folders, writing and scheduling automated emails, and much more. So let's find out how this powerful tool functions. So to begin, head over to fairies.ai. If you need full functionality, then you have to download the application. Uh, you have both Mac and Windows, right? But there are a few things that you could uh, run directly from the browser. Okay, like for example, go through my last 30 emails and move any marketing or inbound sales to check. So click on this and hit enter. You can also uh, choose the model that you want, like Claude or GPT 4.1 or Gemini or whatever it is, and hit enter. Now, of course, we have to sign up. So let's sign up, continue with Google, select your account and click on continue. And there is this one, which has got create a new chat. Let's go with this one, hit on enter. And it will ask us to integrate with our Gmail first, which makes sense. So we have to authenticate here. So I've selected my account. Now, please keep in mind that the initial thing that we did was creating an account using Google. Click on continue. Now you can see that it is asking us for one additional step. That is select what Composia can access, right? Read, compose and send emails from your Gmail account. Okay. You'll have to check this box. And because you are signing in with Google, Composia will be able to see your personal info, including any personal info you have made publicly available. Now, the difference between what we did previously using Google account and what we are doing right now is that previously we used Google to sign in or sign up. Okay. Wherein our publicly available info would be provided like our name, email address, profile picture and so on and so forth. But right now, on top of that, we are also giving access to our Gmail where it can read, compose and send emails from our Gmail account. Be careful where and to which platform you give such accesses. Generally, these are governed by Gmail. So they will make sure that only for people who comply with their policies they will give such access. So for trial purpose, I'll click on continue. So it is now able to read my Gmail account. Authentication successful. You have unlocked your fairy agent's new capability that is Gmail. Let's come back here. And I can tell I have given access to my G account let's see what it does okay so i'll ask it to now can you read the last 40 emails and sort them into a folders so using gmail I'll read the last 30 emails from your inbox and then organize them into appropriate folders based on their content. Fetching up to 30 emails from your inbox, including message content. Now I'll analyze these emails and create appropriate labels, folders to organize them based on the content. I can see several categories emerging. Support, customer service, invoicing, billing, technical, app notification, appointment, wellness, security, social media, marketing, newsletter, personal registration. 
creating a new email label named invoices security support uh, appointments newsletter app notifications or registration and there you go so it's asking us for approval right so i'll click on add gmail label in fact i i'll click on up to all again it is asking me for some more approvals approve all and there you go i think it is completed all the things apart from this one which i'll click on approve and i'll be done email organization complete partial i've successfully read your last 30 emails and organized them into seven new folders based on their content so created folders these things email organized 15 of 30 support folder 6 so it is giving us what are the categories that it has put uh, the emails into so it's asking us for a confirmation to do the remaining emails and i will skip it for now right um so i'll check if these have been organized or not and let you know and so it says uh support it has added six emails hmm maybe this shows 60 and it moved five of that and this one security it is just one is that right yeah security is one newsletter it says one so let me check that yes that's right and invoices it says four and yeah those are right so there you go as we could see uh the emails have been actually categorized into multiple folders and that's super simple right you just ask it to uh categorize and it'll do it for you crazy uh if you go to uh, this one it will give you what are the things that it can do schedule a google meet with uh, jason at 4 pm tomorrow and send him an email with the link create a google doc with my meeting notes summarize my unread slack messages and so on so forth now let's see what the desktop agent does so i've already downloaded the windows app for myself um so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and install this so click on next and i'm done with my installation click on next run create desktop shortcut no finish so it's actually installing some packages now while that is getting installed have you thought of anything like this where you could not just ask ai what to do but you can ask the ai to do that job for you right like organizing emails you just type in as though you are asking somebody to do it and the agent does the rest of the things. Now let's see how it will organize the files in particular folder. So finally, the installation is done. We have to sign up. So I would sign up using Google, the same account that I've used in the web version. And let's open this connection error, reconnect. Okay, and there you go. So we've got all of this uh, option like organize the loose files on my desktop into four subfolders or go through my last 30 emails and move any marketing or inbound sales to junk and so on and so forth let's try this out and for that what i do is so i'll go to my downloads folder okay where i have a lot of uh, files just lying so i'll use uh, this one organize the loose files on my desktop uh, on my downloads folder into four subfolders, let's see. Let's see if it will understand that it has to do it for downloads folder. I'll help you organize the loose files in your downloads folder into four subfolders. Let me first examine what files are currently in your downloads. And you can see that it has listed all the files from here. And let me try a different approach to list the files in your downloads folders. I can see there are many files in your downloads folder. Let me get a better view of the file types group files by extension okay so documents media data and software okay let's see what it does it has created the folders for us as we can see data documents media right and uh, it's asking us for approval while it didn't ask us for approval for the first three i don't know why it asked approval for the fourth one but anyways now move document files that is pdf word excel powerpoint text html into documents folder approve that and looks like something moved let's check that now move pdf files to documents folder with error handling okay there seems to have some issues there let me approve it 
a reasonable file name length to documents folder okay some more issues and it's trying to handle it as we move which is good move word documents to documents folder okay let me approve that i've successfully created four organized folders created some folders yes file analysis summary 161 pdf files 60 92 png images 89 csv data types and 34 54 and so on and so forth i've analyzed your documents but they've not moved right started with folder structure in place would you like me to continue moving the files yes please go ahead let's please go ahead let's see what it does i am excited to see if all these files actually go into folders okay let me approve that okay approve that okay approve that i don't see the csv moving yet oh it's coming now okay let me click on approve oh boom oh, wow and approve that okay pdf files okay approve there seems to be some issue with some pdf file esp image let me approve that and there you go guys as you could see a lot of files are cleaned from here and if i go to data i can see all the csv files here if i go to media i can see all the media files here if i go to documents i can see all the documents over here and if i go to software i can see all the software files over here now isn't that crazy and scary at the same time an ai agent is controlling your files good part is it checks or asks for approval at every stage that's favorite ai an ai agent that not just tells you what you have to do but also gets the job done for you it supports at least nine major integrations like we could see gmail google calendar slack and so on and so forth but they are still developing a lot of other integrations and very soon we might be able to do a lot of automation just by asking what our ai agent has to do for us one thing that i personally want is an ai agent to analyze my images and sort it out in different folders maybe one day these agents can do that as well until then if you feel that you have a lot of files on your folder which needs to be organized then do try Fairies AI and let me know in the comments below as to if you like the tool and its functionalities or you have something better. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.